Hey YouTube, it's Sharice here, and, oh, goodness, <laughs> whoops, <laughs> okay, it's Sharice here again, and this video is going to be about Foundations, you guys know it's one of my favorite things. Lippies and foundations are like my two favorite makeup products. I love lippies and I love foundations. I spend most of my money on foundations and lipsticks. So I had this idea that probably for a long period of time, at least for the next like two months, for the rest of what month is it? April through all of May and probably into June, that I'm just gonna try to use foundations that are supposed to help out your skin so I just want to talk to you about those foundations and let you know my thoughts on them so far so the first one I want to talk to you about is this Neutrogena nourishing longwear makeup with tone correcting complex I really do like this foundation it's basically a perfect color match for me as well and I do find that it is um, long wearing it's supposed to last for 12 hours and it says clinically proven to make skin tone look more even in just four weeks even without makeup. It's lightweight, natural looking, coverage resists heat and humidity. So the thing I think this will be perfect to test out during the summer. And of course it's from Neutrogena which is known for its skincare um, products. Make sure I don't have lipstick on my teeth. So this is one of the Neutrogena foundations that I'll be wearing. Another one is the Neutrogena Healthy Skin Liquid Makeup and this is my least favorite of the three. This one tends to be very dewy. It's also a little bit too dark for me and this one just has sunscreen so I'll probably use this to mix in with things and it says that it has a, an exclusive blend of antioxidants keeps skin young and healthy. So this is just like something that I'll probably mix in with things that might be too light but it's supposed to help the skin. The whole thing is that makeup that helps your skin foundation that helps your skin. This one is my second favorite of the three Neutrogena ones. And this is the Skin Clearing Oil Free Makeup with Blemish Treatment. And this is supposed to control shine with a natural looking coverage. Rapidly cuts through oil for fast acne relief. So this one's supposed to help with acne, which I do have. It's pretty covered right now. It looks pretty, my skin looks pretty smooth. But I'm breaking out on my chin. That's very good. Now you can see it. And on my cheek a little bit. And I have a pimple right here that I kind of turned into a beauty mark thing. But yeah, I break out mostly on my chin. And then on my cheeks, sporadically. So this is supposed to help clear your skin. So these three Neutrogena ones I'll be using. Um, another one is this Too Faced Born This Way. This has hyaluronic acid. It has a whole bunch of stuff that's supposed to help clear your skin, but it, it is specifically supposed to help improve the look of skin. I would read you all the details, but then I'd have to go look on the Sephora app or find the packaging somewhere, which I think I might have already thrown away. But this one is supposed to help your skin, even without makeup. Another one, of course, is the Tarte Amazonian Clay Full Coverage um, foundation and this one is all natural so it's not supposed to damage the skin in any way so I'll be using this. This has been one of my favorites as of late. Been loving this. I actually mixed this one with the Too Faced today and that is currently what I'm wearing on my face is the Too Faced Born This Way mixed with the Tarte Amazonian Clay. Love. Also in the Neutrogena ones I wear the shade Chestnut. In the Born This Way from Too Faced, I wear Mahogany. And in the Tarte Amazonian Clay, I wear Rich Honey. So this is supposed to help your skin. Okay, on to NARS Matte Velvet Skin Tint. This is also supposed to help improve your skin. There's more details online. I wish I had all those ready for you. I just kind of want to tell you the ones that I'll be using. This is supposed to help clear your skin or improve the skin. I remember reading that on the packaging somewhere. So I'll be using that one. And then the last two are BB and a CC cream. This is the Black Radiance BB cream in brown sugar, which I love. And this is the CoverGirl cream, the CoverGirl Queen collection CC cream, which I love. This was my go-to in the summer. It matched me perfectly. And this is empty. There's like hardly any left in here, but I keep it so I can get another one. And I wear the shade Sheer Espresso. 
but this was amazing like for band camp just the perfect and it gives really really good coverage like this was bomb.com like awesome so those are like the ones that I'll be using um, so basically in all my tutorials I'll be using those foundations or a mixture of those foundations because I'm just trying to help my skin continue trying to help my skin stay on the path to healing and getting better and fading my dark spots and keeping the acne at bay and just trying to keep up the progress that my skin has made because it's looking pretty good and the better your skin the better condition your skin is in um, the better your makeup looks so yeah that's all I want to talk about in this video I hope you guys enjoyed it um, be sure to look up some of the details. I couldn't really tell you all the ingredients and stuff that some of these foundations, CC cream, BB creams have that are supposed to help out your skin, but those are the ones that I knew off the top of my head that I wanted to keep on my vanity to keep using. So I'm going to try to use those exclusively and not use any of my other foundations for at least the next eight weeks to see if I see any changes like some of those foundations claim. Again, thank you for watching. Thanks for your support and I'll see you next video. Bye YouTube.